Jorge Machan. Good to see you. I hope I said your last name properly. I haven't said your last name in like a year. Um, I always, yeah. So I hope I didn't fuck up your last name. If I did, I'm sorry and feel free to correct me. <laughs> um, Jorge asks, uh, I think they vote on giving DACA recipients residency tomorrow. What say you? Uh, are you saying permanent residency? Like a like they're gonna give they're gonna make uh, DACA recipients eligible to get a green card a lot easier? Because if that's what it is, uh, then I'm all for that. Uh, I was I've been for uh, you know making things a lot easier in terms of immigration. Uh, I've been through every fucking level <laughs> of immigration, and and to bring it back to mental health, uh, it is. Uh, it is it is one of the most uh, anxious fucking processes of my entire life. Uh, nothing gives me more anxiety than having to deal with any sort of bureaucracy, thanks to dealing with immigration. Um, so if they're going to make that easier, and they're and, and and you know if you're a DACA recipient out there, uh, and now you get permanent residency, and it makes your life a lot easier, and it and it gives you uh, an easier way to become a, a citizen, um, then yes. Uh, Jorge says, yeah, I, be I believe uh, immediate permanent residency. Yeah, I, I, I see no reason why, if you've been in this country for that long, uh, one, why you're not being fast-tracked for that in the first place. Um, I got my green card when I was 18. I was 18 when I got my green card. My family started that process when I was, I think when I was like 13. So it took us like five years to get our fucking green card. And by the time I was 18, I'd been in this country for a decade. So it's like I'm already Americanized enough. Um, so to me, there it, it, it I don't see a, a point why if you've been in this country for as long as 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 someone like myself or or someone as as Jorge, Jorge has been in this country for quite some time. Um, why they aren't being given at the least permanent residency right like at the least permanent residency the citizenship process should be a lot easier especially again if you've been in this country for 10 plus years right if you've been in this country for that long uh you probably know more about the history of this country and the inner workings of things better than most americans do that's that's and, and i'm not saying that to be like an asshole to be like oh fuck americans right i'm like i'm saying that as like that's kind of the way it is. <laughs> uh, most Americans, most Americans will take their citizenship uh, for granted. They don't realize exactly what rights they do have and what rights they do get to enjoy. Um, so if that is the case, um, I hope that goes through. I hope that, you know, you don't see uh, assholes uh, like Joe Manchin and the other eight Democrats that... Um, you know, voted against the minimum wage to vote against this as well, because again, we were promised by the Democratic Party that if we if if they get the majority in the House and the Senate and the White House, it will make it a lot easier to pass quote unquote progressive uh, pieces of legislation uh, such as this. Uh, so Jorge says he's, he got DACA ten years ago. So again, there's no reason why Jorge should not be a permanent resident of, of this country anymore. Uh, and he shouldn't be renewing it every three years or so. Like, that's so crazy to me. <laughs> uh, and we had to do that with our visa, man. Uh, when, when, uh, I mean, when I was, when I first came here every, every two, two and a half years, we would have to go back to India and renew our visa. And it was just like, it's such a, that's, that's not a great reason to have a vacation. <laughs> you know, like every two or three years, it's like, yay, we get to go back to India and like see our family and, and you know, enjoy all the things we used to when we were kids. But, um, you know, uh, Holly says, well done to Jorge. But it was definitely like visa renewal doesn't scream fun summer vacation when you're a kid, right? Uh, I, and, and it was stressful. We had to wake up at fucking two o'clock in the morning uh, and you know, like my mom would get us some, some caffeinated beverage and we would stand outside the fucking, um, I don't even remember what the building was, but it was like some, you know, government building where they authorized visas or didn't authorize visas. Uh, and, uh, and it was, a it was, it was a goddamn nightmare is what it really was. Um, and, and, and not having to do that is, is great. And now, now it's like, if I want to, I can go to India and enjoy my time in India 
and not have to deal with, you know, fucking bureaucracy. So I, I say I say they should vote on that. And I and more than that, I, I think it sh that that should have just been the norm. You know, like if you're a DACA recipient and you've been in this country for that long, why aren't you getting at the minimum permanent residency? So I hope they vote on it, and and I hope uh, I hope you get your 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 permanent residency a lot quicker than uh, you would have if you would have had to go through the rigmarole, uh, uh, you know, of bureaucracy. Uh, so so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you, bud. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot -H -H com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.